Hello Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading. Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are doing good out there. Um, now with this being a general reading, please know that it will not resonate with all of you out there. So please only take what does and don't worry about the rest. Only take what you need and are willing to accept from a reading. Now after tarot, I will be pulling some oracle cards just to get a little bit more messages or more messaging <laughs> from spirit and we'll see what we get all right so this is for capricorn for march spirit what do we have for capricorn what do we have for capricorn message for capricorn in regards to love <clears throat> message for Capricorn Let's see what we got here all right Capricorn we have the six of cups we have the page of wands we have the devil we have the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Bottom of the deck for you is the Six, <coughs> sorry, Seven of Cups. All right, so let's see here. All right. So your energy right now, Capricorn, a lot of you could be reflecting back, thinking about a past person, someone from your past. All right. Someone that you've known from childhood, someone you grew up with, someone you had a lot of love for, a lot of feelings for. For some of you, you could be starting a new relationship here with someone from <laughs> your past or someone that really makes you feel like home. It's a real sweet feeling, a really sweet, innocent, good feeling here. I think it's really too, it's like an innocent romance, an innocent new beginning here at love. Yeah, it's like a new beginning here at love. But it feels really good. It's exciting and it's fun. You know, like there's not a lot of drama. It's just an overall good feeling with this person here. So this is your energy. Now in your past relationships, there's uh, been some heartbreak. Been some heartbreak. Been some uh, hurt here. All right. There's some things that you found out. There's things that you've learned in a relationship that really hurt you. Right. Just kind of stabbed you in the heart. You weren't expecting it. Right. It just it kind of just brought everything down. But this was something that you learned. So, again, you know, it could be like texting or seeing a, a number pop up in the phone or you find something out about someone that led you to some pain and heartbreak here. Now, the good thing here, Capricorn, is here you are with the devil here. But I'm really feeling like right now in love with this person here, with this Six of Cups and this Ace of Cups, I feel like you guys are really just focused on this person. And it's like you're releasing anything that you're tied to that isn't bringing you happiness and isn't bringing you joy to where you can't flourish and you can't express. You can't just enjoy what you want to do. So there's some type of hobby here or this might be where you met someone or met this person uh, where you're connecting with someone where it's like you're really focused right now. You're focused on all the things that you want to do that you're into. But you don't want to be tied down. You don't want any chains on you. So you're releasing that. 
releasing any chains from anyone, anyone that's chained to you, tied to you, that's holding you back from doing what you want to do. That's holding you back from focusing on the things that you want to focus on. This is the good thing. Freedom, expression, knowing that you have the strength, knowing that you have the option to do what you want to do and to focus on what you want to focus or who you want to focus on. And it all starts with those chains being just taken off. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing. You guys have taken the chains off and now it's all about you. It's all about the things you want to learn. It's all about communicating with someone new here that makes you feel good, makes you feel um, giddy inside. Happy times, good times. Now, the challenges to look out for. Look out for someone who might give to you, but they're giving to you for the wrong reasons. They're giving to you because they want attention. But, you know, it's like... It's like self-absorbed attention. So when they do give you something or they are giving you acts of kindness, okay, it's not because they want to just do it for you. It's because they want something out of it. So this might be something to look out for, or this might be a little bit of a challenge ahead. So just be a little bit mindful of what's being given to you and why it's being given to you, you know, and most importantly, who is giving it to you? What is their personality like? When do they give to you? Why do they give to you? It's really important here. But this is someone who is just all into themselves. Their fun, their desire. Oh, here you go. This is what I want to do. This is what I want you to do for me. That kind of thing. They only see themselves. It's all about their wants, their needs, their passions, their drive. What is fun to them? I'll give to you. As long as we do what I want to do. This is my fun. This is my fun time. It's not really a balanced uh, um, act here when it's about giving to you, Capricorn. So be a little mindful of that. Okay? Okay. Now, a look into your near future. You have Queen of Cups and you have the Six of Wands. So again, emotions, feeling good here, having that cup of love, having the emotions, you're feeling them, you're going through them, you're enjoying them. They feel good. They feel exciting. They feel innocent. They're fun, right? It goes with the flow here. Keep on elevating up with that. Keep going forward with that. That's where your happiness is. That's where your success is. That's where your emotions are, your feeling is, your heart is. It's all up to you. This is a time for you to stay focused on ascending in your love life and focused on what matters to you, your heart, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts, having the conversations you want to have, having someone give you time and attention, but for the right reasons, because they want to give it to you. This person, this person that your energy is really revolved around, they want to give you the right kind of attention. It's not this. It's not that six of pentacles with that queen of wands here. It's the right kind of attention that is from the heart, that is heartfelt, that is going to keep elevating up and going and moving forward in a successful way, in a natural way. There's no push. There's no control. There's no rush. There's no... self-centered behavior it's all about feeling and emotion and good attention your overall energy here is the seven of cups so i feel like a lot of you have some choices here i feel like a lot of you know that you have some choices in love and it's really all about you knowing capricorn that you're not going to choose what just sounds good to you in that moment you're looking for something and that is really going to give you peace and harmony. You know, you are wanting something that isn't controlling or nasty or obsessive or mean or negative. You just want to do the things right now that are fun and exciting and that you want to focus on, especially when it comes to love and with someone else. You want time and attention to be given, but you want it to be given for the right reasons, not just because I want this right now and you're the one that can give it to me. 
No, you want something that is from the heart, from the soul, from the feeling, the feelings of love, the feelings of falling in love, the feelings that you get when you're happy to be conversing and getting to know someone, falling in love with someone. This is what you're going to choose. So you have a clear vision now of what you want and really like not how to go about it, but uh, kind of like weeding through the weeds. Weeding through the weeds to see what it is that you know that is going to work for you because you feel it. Pay attention to your intuition and your feelings when it comes to your love life, Capricorn. That is going to lead you and that is going to keep you ascending and moving forward in all the right ways. Up and up and up with this person, I'm telling you, with this Ace of Cups and this six, the Six of Cups here. That's what's going to lead you. Follow your heart. Follow your feelings. All right. Follow that intuition. You will be making the right choice when it comes to this person or it comes to love. So let's see what else we got here. Okay. What do we have spirit for Capricorn? Oh. <laughs> Over there. What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, I think that's good. Oh, no, that's it. Okay. All right. So we've got separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So there might be someone that really misses you, even though you guys feel kind of separated right now, that three of swords here, but there's someone that misses your attention and misses talking to you, misses longs for that it's like they long to discover that again that feeling of closeness with you we have healthy choices making healthy choices in love and life self-love self-care and being happier there it is see clearly seeing capricorn making healthy choices in love Pay attention to that intuition with the Queen of Cups. That is what's going to keep you happy and keep you moving forward in that happy direction, okay? In love. That's your peace. That's your happiness. That's what feels good. Uh, we have not enough. Frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Self fear. Ego. Issues. Jealousy. Well, there's that devil card. So a lot of you might be in a relationship and you might be unhappy. Things aren't exciting. Things aren't passionate. There's nothing here. It feels like there's nothing here to discover. What are we sharing? Where are we growing? How? What is it that we're passionate about and moving forward? Where's that, that, that passionate spirit of the relationship? It's almost like it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's not enough. And that could also be why we have the devil here, Capricorn. It's like someone is wanting to hold on to you. You're tied to someone. A lot of you could be married, but there's a, there's still a separation here. Even if you aren't physically separated, you guys might be emotionally separated. That's why you have the queen of cups here in your near future with elevation, because right now you are wanting emotional connection and happiness and good times. So someone is definitely frustrated in this relationship and missing someone here. They're missing that connection. They're missing that fun. They're missing the attention. Let's see what else we have here. Let's go with this one and then we'll read that one. Okay, so we have girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So some of you moved on. Some of you moved on from what wasn't enough, what wasn't giving you what you needed, right? What was tying you down to where you couldn't even focus on things that excited you or things that you know you wanted to do because it was all about this unfair balance of what this person thought was right and what they wanted from you and they would give to you only because their selfish game what they wanted and what made them feel good not thinking about how you feel and what's fun and exciting for you well now you're having fun and you're meeting people. You're spending time with friends, whether it's friends from the past or people you've grown up with, or it's just someone that you've met who makes you feel like that. You have that close kind of friendship, right? That best friend kind of feeling where we do all kind of things together. It's not drama. It's not obsession. It's not I'm doing it because I want something from you. It's I'm doing it because I have feelings for you. I'm doing it 
because you are the person I want to give my attention to because my feeling is there. My emotions are there. Where I feel I will go and will elevate. Okay, so... Yeah, so a lot of you are just spending time with friends, spending time with people who make things fun for you, make things lighthearted for you, living in the moment, Capricorn, and having fun. And it's, sometimes that's what you got to do, right? You got to clear the muck. You got to focus and choose on what is important and needed for you at this time. Uh, we have palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Okay. So let's see what else we got here. Yeah, things just kind of seem like they're at a good pace right now. Like the energy is good where, you know, it's like you're where you want to be when it comes to this person here with this Ace of Cups, this new person. Everything's like it breezes by. It's like <laughs> it's easy breezy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's that palm tree. It's just it feels good it feels stable all right let's see what else we got for you spirit what else do we have for capricorn in regards to love anything else all right let's go with this one we have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so there you go Again, focus on your passions, focus on you, focus on riding that wave, right? Letting that breeze take you where it's going to take you and having fun. Uh, we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, there's definitely ascension here. This, uh, this romantic, passionate relationship with this person that you were spending time with, hanging out with, having fun. This person might be saying they want to marry you. Like they want to be with you. They're so serious about you. These are things they tell you. This is something they want here. They want this relationship to solidify. They want the, the stability. They want the permanent. They want it to be permanent with you. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else we got, Capricorn. What else do we have? Spirit for Capricorn. What do they need to hear in regards to love? Message for Capricorn in regards to love. What do they need to know? What do we have here? Cool your emotions, full moon in Aries. So a lot again about emotions here. Some of you might be moving kind of fast with this person or feel like this person is moving kind of fast. So it's like, well, hold up, cool the love, cool the emotions. Let's just ride the wave, easy breezy. Let's, let's take it down a notch. <laughs> Someone here feel, might feel like that, Capricorn. Full moon in Aries. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Cool your emotions. Yeah, it's like uh, there's someone here that just feels so passionate about you and they can't hide it. They don't control it. They let it they're they're letting it be known. They want to keep going up and up and up and up. Yeah, with you, Capricorn. All right, let's see what else we got here. For Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, there we go. Curiosity. Learn to be curious about each other. All right. So someone in this connection, Capricorn, uh, is not cooling their jets and they're going full speed ahead with their passion and desire. But then someone, it's like, 
they're kind of holding back and like, uh, you know, that might be you. Like, let's just cool it. But it's important to learn about each other. It's okay to be curious about this person, right? To dig deep into those feelings and emotions. You can still keep it cool. You don't have to rush and get crazy, right? Or the person doesn't have to get crazy, but it's still okay to be curious. This person wants to know you. This person wants to... Um, Feel the feels and know who you are. They want you to know how serious they are with you because they want this relationship to ascend and they want some commitment here. Their emotions are all in. Just as good and just as much fun as you have with them and your friends, it's like they feel the same way. And they're very curious. They're very curious about what you think and more about how you feel, especially about them. It's like they want to know more. Okay. For Capricorn. What's the message for Capricorn? Oh. Hold on. Chance. All right, so someone here might be taking a chance, taking a chance uh, on this relationship, taking a chance being with this person, elevating this relationship, having their feelings, being emotionally tied to someone else. It's a chance. It might even be a risk here. There might be a choice that you know you need to make when it comes to uh, your love life, who you want to be with and who gives you peace. Okay, even though you still might be tied to someone Sometimes we have to take risks. Sometimes we have to take a chance here for our own happiness to be happy and what gives us peace of mind and what fills our spirit and emotions with joy and happiness. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else we got for you. For Capricorn, let's do this one. All right. What is the message for Capricorn for the highest, greatest good? Their message in love. What do they need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Strength. A lot of you have been through a lot, Capricorn. There's been a lot of pain, but through the pain, through the hurt, through everything you have been through, you're like that oak. You're still standing strong, okay? And what has been hurt, whatever damage has been caused, there will be growth. There will be regeneration and you will still be standing strong. So if a lot of you out there are conflicted, fearful of making a choice, not sure what to do in a certain love situation here, follow your mind, follow your heart, follow your intuition and know that it's okay to take a chance. It's okay to learn. It's okay to be curious and find your happiness. Find where you want to be, the place that feels like home and it's going to give you that peace of mind. You've been strong enough and you're still standing and you deserve that. And if you need to tell the person to cool it down, cool the jets, cool the emotions until you figure it out, that's fine too. Whatever you need to do for you to move forward is what's important here. All right, let's see. Let's close with a whispers of love for you Capricorn. What is the love message for Capricorn for their highest, greatest good? What's their love message? What is their love message? So your love message, Capricorn, is love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of wonderful things life has to offer. Yeah, uh, despite it all, the tough times and everything that's been damaged, all the hurt that's been caused in a relationship. And again, someone you still have ties to. 
You can still have those ties, whether you have kids, there might be children in the matter, but you don't have to have chains on to where you feel heavily weighed down and you can't live your life and do what is best for you. The pain, the hurt, the damage, you will regenerate because you're strong enough to do so. Think of that oak. Think of this tree with all that's going on on it. Look at all those flames, that fire, they're on it, around it. It's still there. There's still green here in this picture and there will be growth. So love who you are and know that you're deserving of just that growth and regeneration to grow, to heal, to move forward and to choose what is best for you. Keep moving forward, keep elevating and your intuition will not steer you wrong in this matter. So Capricorn, that's what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope you got something that you needed from it. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment down below. Let me know what's going on and you guys stay safe. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.